Hey traders from around the world, this is Jeremy Alexander Newsom with Real Life Trading. Hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. We're going to have a pretty quick stock review today and uh, get you guys ready for the Memorial Day weekend. Brad Reed's coming down from Indianapolis. Angie Barbosa is already here from California. Team Nashville is going to be meeting up tonight in Taco Mamacita, downtown Nashville. Excited about that. Going to be enjoying some libations and festivities and some food and some entertainment and uh, just a good time to be hanging out with friends and traders and, you know, loving life, living life, that kind of thing. Uh, also, it is Memorial Day weekend. Thank you for uh, all those who have served our great country and uh, for all those who might be planning to serve uh, or maybe those who have lost someone uh, thank you for your contributions for the first responders out there to the vets i appreciate all that you guys do thank you so much uh, allowing giant big-headed big-nosed people like me to do what i do every single day thank you i truly mean it from the bottom of my heart let's talk about the spy Je janet yellen just got off the mics uh, at Harvard and not too much is going on. So really we broke out of this little triangle pattern on the SPY. I kind of anticipate this, this, and this. If I had to make a guess, that's likely what's gonna happen on the SPY. A lot of us got a covered call for June. I have no problem being in cash at these all time highs. If we get exercise, that's totally okay. Ready for it to happen, excited and uh, pumped. Here's the Dow Jones, kind of still within the triangle actually. Here's your Q, circuit symbol Q, 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 and we got a little bit of a double bottom on the Q's, closed by the neckline, might retest, might bounce. We'll see if it goes a little bit higher. Let's talk about some other trades. Circuit symbol LC Lending Club, Adam Farigali, and a few others. Very excited about this trade continuing up. Good volume. We've gotten some gaps. We got your morning star reversal pattern right there to kind of get the whole Get the pan buttered, get the get the frying pan greased. Is that the way? That's not a term. I have no idea what that means. Here's a flag pattern on ticker symbol LC. Great gap right there. Volume is increasing. So again, I just really don't think this is the ending uh, gap on Linden Club. I think that there's some volume coming here. I think it's exhaustion volume on Linden Club. And longer term, I do like the company overall. JP Morgan, got to give a shout out to my buddy Steven Jackson. Mr. Jackson played this double bottom on JP Morgan and traded to a target. Also, George, coaching student of mine. Great job, George, for trading JP Morgan. One of his first option trades ever. He said, hey, Newsom, looks like a retest gap right here. I'm going to buy the retest. Place my stop in the gap and sell at the previous resistance for 2R. I said, good on you. Sounds like a plan. I love it. Great job, George, on that one. CBI, we did get just triggered in CBI um, from Wednesday. So based on Wednesday, Wednesday, this is also another trade that Steven Jackson threw out. Notice a small double bottom. We played the retest, and so far today, it's looking like it's working out all right. Pandora, we are in this one bullish. A little bit of an upper shadow the last two days, but we have been making higher highs and higher lows. So as of next week, I'll move up my stop a little bit. I think we can lose less than our own Pandora. Tesla, really not doing too much. Just a smaller candle right now. We have increased our stop just a little bit on Tesla to lose a little bit smaller. Another update, Wells Fargo, we have bought to close this put sale. This one was uh, one I got a lot of slack from, from a lot of people out there on the internet calling me crazy doing put sales on financials. They're like, guys, Jeremy, financials are going to zero. Why are you trading these stocks? Well, short term, it's all about risk mitigation, ladies and gentlemen. You have trading and you have investing, and then you got short term trading. And uh, I was ready to happen. Got the buy to close, bought for seven cents, sold for 43. Yes, ma'am, please, may I have another? That's Wells Fargo, looking good at the moment, doing its thing. Can't talk too much about uh, any stock without looking at Apple. Apple, Robert's gonna get exercise today on his covered call, and he is excited about that because he bought in here. Well done, Mr. Meek. Legged into the 105 June covered call on Apple. Uh, nice little level. Right now you're battling the long-term moving averages. Here's your long-term moving averages. You have one, two, three, four, five, six white candles in a row, six bullish candles in a row, so expecting a little bit of a pullback and a rest, and then likely a pop and a continuation higher on Apple. First Solar doing its thing, hanging out, thinking that this is some probably some type of wave four action, so gonna be a little bit patient on First Solar right now for it to potentially and likely continue down just a little bit lower. Palo Alto, gotta give a shout out to my good friend Brian Noel, Brad Reed, Dan Walsh, many other traders, uh, Troy Beinhauer, you guys hear his name often. Beautiful bearish gap and go on PANW and traded right to a rock solid USDA certified support. Very good support there on PANW. So if you got a chance to trade it, it really was a trade uh, 
really the best trade to take was on the one minute chart. That was the one and done on PANW. And here it was. Gapped down, white candle, perfect gap and go. Zoom, zoom, money in the bank. Shawty, what you think? Really good trade on PANW. Uh, great job, Brad, for that analysis. Fantastic. I'm loving it. Good stuff on PANW. Uh, VNET took a trade on this one. Lost small this morning. It also was a gap down. Did not work. No big deal. TSL posted this one on Twitter. A few people pretty happy about that one. Here's your five minute chart on Twitter. Gapped down, traded up, trade sideways, boom, shakalaka, broke hard, Ray Roos snagged an R on Trina Solar, great job, Ray, awesome stuff. Exited um, X uh, out of our swing trade, we had a bearish swing trade. This is a bullish retest gap, so my expectation is a little bit of this and probably some of that to happen on United States Steel. We do have the long-term moving average down there acting as a little bit of a support. So I think this is kind of a buy low, sell high location on ticker symbol X. And then of course, here's Solar City, ticker symbol SCTY. Solar City, Bob has a 2150 put sale going to expire more than likely okay today. Keep in mind the market subject to change due to volatility because it is still open at the moment, but it should be um, just fine. And last but not least today, Netflix, or some NFLX, Netflix legged into a bear call spread. Where did the note go? Note's gone. Uh, 105, 106, bear call spread. Got into that yesterday. That expires today. 10% return, 24 hours. Holla at your boy. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you fine folks Wednesday for your next Real Life Talk Review because Monday the market's closed with Memorial Day. Thanks so much for those who served the country. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you later. Until next time, remember, love life, live life, and trade you rock. Bye.